Hey everybody. So this is going to be for Gemini. Um, I was inspired quickly, I'd like to explain. Um, this is going to be an autumn reading, Gemini. But this woman from Australia got in contact with me about the spring readings, and I don't know if you've had a chance to watch them, but it's in my playlist in the special readings, um, if you want to find it specifically. But um, she was curious about it, and I was so intrigued and happy that she asked a question because in this day and age there's so many people that just believe what we're told wikipedia says it it's the truth like give me a break you know sometimes you really gotta figure things out on your own sometimes you have to unlearn things it's just a process but um... so basically the spring readings as it, it pertains to like growth i would like to classify that also as the inner circle or the inner like work that we'll be doing. Um, and then autumn will also be the outer circle and to express hopefully um, the external work that we need to do, external situations, more tangible things that we can attend to so that our life r runs in the smoothest way. Um, I do believe that energy is fluid so it's probably going to relate to both, that's just the way it is. but. Um, it would be fascinating if it, if it did work out that way, and let me know if it, if it does, Gemini. Okay, Gemini. On the outer circle. Fairness. Let's see, Gemini. Well, lots of your element here. Some of you are still afraid. Some of you are afraid to build um, Some of you don't want to cut a water sign out of your life. For others of you, it could be a fire sign, but I think for the majority, it's water. You know, sometimes you just need to back up so you can really see what's going on. Like, really get a different perspective on the situation, like, almost like removing yourself from where you were. There's definitely something coming full cycle, full circle. I want to say for the majority of you, it's you who is...
Well, actually, both these people have, like, made dis made a decision. But I think your decision... is still not... Uh, there's a, there's not, there's not a full acceptance yet within your mind that your physical world has changed. Or is going to change. I believe it's already ha It's probably already happened for most of you. Because this is a card of travel and, like, journey. Um, it's actually two cards of... Three cards of, of journey. I want to see on this... Princess of Swords. Okay. So you definitely are the one speaking of fairness. Um... And speaking of, like, gr growth, uh, charity, who's giving who to what, um, making sure that, uh, it's also about dignity, um, the Queen of Cups. You know, how, mu how much would you do, what would you do? How do I want to say it? Uh, how much bullshit would you take to get what you want? Or would you try it a different way? For some of you, you made a decision... decision about this water sign because they were just too... Well, A, it was probably karmic, for those of you that this is a person. Um, and I don't think it put either one of you in a good spot. Um, where you weren't, like, helping each other. The, the relationship wasn't helping either one of you. For those of you that is, this isn't a person, um, your dreams tell you, and your intuition, your emotions really, uh, your body tells you in multiple ways I just keep hearing abandonment. Like, usually the Five of Coins or the Five of Pentacles is, um, these people out in the cold. Two people, um, but there's a light on right by the building that they're, they're walking next to. Like, they could just go in there, they could warm up, they could ask for help, um, they could even communicate or hug each other, but they're not, they're just, like, walking, aim, like, through the cold, through the darkness. See the lovers. Before you get involved with anybody, friendship, lover, whatever, not necessarily work, more of the first two, you want to <clears throat> ensure that you are around people who are capable of controlling themselves. who are really in touch with who they are in a really positive way. 
You know, they're willing to be vulnerable. That's really important. That's a big thing right here with this pairing. Vulnerability. Why did this Prince of Swords come up here? The King of Swords. Look at all this air. The Prince, the Princess, and the King. The only uh, one of your, the card of your suit of winter, of the swords, that's in the upright is the princess of swords, which is the page of swords. Where nothing deters them from their path, they are diligent. They will, they're open, they're willing and open to look at life in different ways and be really open-minded. Um, sometimes they can be a little, uh, impulsive. But they're really determined. They're like a kid, like stoked. Like, I want to learn that, you know. And with the Six of Coins here, it's like, maybe you really need to learn about fairness. Not only you, being fair to yourself, but being fair to others. And particularly with this situation, being the people that you involve yourself with being really fair. Right. Because you want to build a solid structure in your life. You want home. You know, sometimes, Gemini, I feel like you're similar to like a Capricorn or something like that. You're a really hard worker, and you do like nice things, um, or things. Um, you, you like the tangible world, and you like working hard to be able to achieve it. So you need to be around people that are like that. Now, in relation to this Prince of Swords in the reverse and the King of Swords in reverse... The Prince of Swords in reverse is actually a good card. Not that any card's necessarily bad, it's just that energy is better because it's not so much like in a rush to save everybody. To rush in and be the, be the knight in shining armor, you know? And for some of you, that bums you out that you can't, like, be with people who you can help because you know that they're not, like, in essence, like, we can only help ourselves. Like, we can be supportive of one another. And it, it just, it makes you want to run to a mountaintop and be like, fuck it. I don't even care. I'm done. I don't need to talk to anybody, like... Nobody wants to hear my thoughts anyway, like they're saying some crazy stuff right now. But what you really need to be, you know, you need to get out of your head. Um, and I believe that you can. Just take the hermit's advice, take some time alone, and realize the Wheel of Fortune eventually will turn around, and you will be able to succeed in achieving this Ten of Coins all day. Alright? Alright? 